<laughs> okay. Not going so well. Aha! Let's try this one once more. Okay, don't want to go up all the way. That one a bit bit outside. Okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna quit this. Quit that. I know enough. I'm an expert at this game. I I totally made all those goals. Don't worry about it. I'm amazing. That's it. That's all you need to know. Now then. Uh, kit number, we're going to go with kit number 5, because 5 is a good number. England, birth year, oh god, 2000. Oh! <laughs> making me feel old. I always forget that uh, 2000s are, t are adults nowadays. Goodness me. No, thank you. No, thank you. Field attacking midfielder. Vision, ball control, deverling, finishing. Honestly, I think for me... The attacking midfielder is probably the most interesting position. In real life, if I were to, uh, to play football, I would, of course, be a goalkeeper. That's the position I found most interesting when I was a young little kid. But, of course, to make this more interesting, definitely want to play as, a, as an actual player. Defending, I know I'm going to make horrible, horrible mistakes. Striker, too much pressure on me, and I know I'm going to botch it during the tutorial shooting practice I just did. Attacking midfielder, though... I can blame others for my failure when I pass them and they miss. So at least that gives me an excuse. Nice, well-defined chin. That's a bit much. The uh, don't know why all these chins are kind of a very prominent chin. When your chin's extending out beyond your nose, something seems a bit off with you, but. We're not going to ignore too many times being smashed in the face by a football. That's what we're going to go. Goodness, I feel so small. This is your time. So, as you may or may not be aware, I'm reasonably tall in real life. Not a giant by any means, but but I'm well above average. So, seeing me be so small in game just feels weird because I'm used to being able to see the top of my fridge without having to get on top of stool. I can reach the top shelf without any assistance. But seeing it be like that, it's a whole new world. Take part in training sessions every week, complete objectives and games, will boost your score. Come on. Got a blanket and I got my whole roller, roller chair and they never really like getting along. I don't know why, they've been together for years. For whatever reason, my chair enjoys rolling on my blanket, making it very obnoxious to sit down in my chair. Yes! What? How is that a no goal? Come on, I earned that one. I'm five foot six. I can't do much with headers. Let me have it, please. Well, as the replay shows us, that will be come on. As an own goal. Uh -huh. That was not known. Oh, come on. Lucas Paqueta. No, God, just over. I don't know about just over, my friend. That was, seemed like it was monstrously over. Say exactly what we were looking for. We're up by 10-0. I think we're looking for this game to be over. I'll, I'll, I'll take this close-up shot on my wonderful, wonderful face. But at this point, after I already upped the difficulty once. I'm going to do it again. But I didn't even shoot. I really just dribbled that one into the goal. <laughs> yeah, see, you saw my tr attempt to try and kick it. It just did not want to go in. So, yesterday, played FIFA 23. Honestly, had a pretty good time. Playing the campaign, or playing the single player modes, pretty enjoyable time. However, since then, the game has become unplayable due to uh, two glitches. One glitch means the only way that I can load my save data is if I unplug my controller and launch it using my keyboard and mouse. The second glitch means after I plug in my keyboard or my controller back in to try and play with my controller, it doesn't register that enough and overrides everything I try and do with my keyboard and mouse, meaning that the only way to play it is with the keyboard and mouse, which I don't want to do because keyboard and mouse is obviously not what it's designed for and it's not very enjoyable to use that. So as a result, not going to play that game ever again. 
which is disappointing to some degree. But even after like hour, hour and a half of trying to fix things, didn't get anything working. So not worth the effort, not worth the time. Luckily, I got to try it as part of the whole uh, package deal I paid for. But still disappointing, especially if you've been up paying full price for it. So specifically, the franchise mode is what we're going to be playing today because I played for the franchise. However, a different game baking glitch, uh, I fixed that one. Where after a while, your main character, whatever whatever character you're playing, ends up changing their position. And of course, you cannot fix that on your own. You have to actually go through and contact support, and they have to fix it for you. Which again, mind-numbing. How is that still a glitch? The cycle is over. The next Madden game has come out. I, I just don't understand it. This is a big-name corporation, and they can't make their game... Playable. It's not even playable. Take away the best offensive weapons. I think, yeah, I think we'll go man coverage, because I do like me some man coverage. Not that way, though. Not that way. Hybrid zone or run support? We'll definitely do hybrid. That fits our team and is very, very good. I, I do like this, I'll note. Coming over from uh, from 2K and some of the other games that I've played, this whole system of being able to select and choose where you upgrade your players, I find very, very cool. I'm very excited about uh, that feature. No. Okay. So we will hold off on that. There, and let's go and advance to next week. We'll say, it's pretty fast, this whole simulating thing. Much faster than what I'm used to for most games. 16 weeks means there's not a whole lot of fiddling to do, so... You can really get through a simulation quite quickly. Got old right guard here. Be agile or more powerful? Let's, let's keep you as a agile player. Don't look particularly agile, but... I assume it's the whole uh, character generation adds a few pounds and all that, as opposed to... This. Cause keep in mind... Doesn't matter, these sports athletes could crumple me in moments. It's certainly, given the whole, some of these pictures, it doesn't look flattering. But these are all people at the top of their field, and definitely deserving of recognition for that. Under pressure, he's very good. With the windows open or closed, he's slinging it, beautiful spirals, could use some improvement at recognizing pressure, but he's good under pressure. They can't recognize it, but man, as soon as he's under pressure, he is he is cool and collected. Sure, that makes sense. Thanks for watching. You should watch another. Please.